it's Christmas Day for spending time with friends and family. And today, joining us is my brother and podcast partner, Myra Cycle Balls! That's my name, don't wear it out. Wait, weren't you the exterminator in our stung video? I get that a lot. Today we'll be covering the second Godzilla movie, Godzilla Raids Again. Let's -a go! The American version starts with a nuclear bomb exploding and opening up a narration. Off the coast of Osaka, a pair of fishing planes, piloted by Shoichi Tsukioka and Kojikawa Kobayashi, are scouting for schools of tuna for their company's fishing boats. Shoichi flirts with his girlfriend, Hidemi Yajima, over the radio, when Kobayashi's plane suffers a malfunction, forcing him to make an emergency landing. Shoichi goes to rescue his friend, finding him on a small island. After Shoichi joins Kobayashi on the island, the pair discover a giant pair of dinosaurs battling over territory. They recognize one of the dinosaurs as Godzilla, and when the dinosaurs fall into the ocean, the pair wisely decide to flee the island. I too would run away. I want- I watch the dinosaurs fight. Do you have a death wish? Yes. No. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Back in Osaka, the pilots tell the authorities of their discovery. Dr. Yame from the previous film is present and another scientist tells the authority about his knowledge of the second dinosaur Godzilla was fighting Angerus, a mutated Angelosaur. Dr. Yame presents the footage of Godzilla's previous rampage and mentions that the creature was killed by the Oxygen Destroyer. Unfortunately, since the creator of the Oxygen Destroyer is now dead, there is no known way to stop Godzilla. In short, they're kind of screwed. Shoichi and Hidemi speculate on whether the dinosaurs will come to Osaka. Jets are sent out to search for Godzilla and Anguirus. Godzilla is spotted and tracked as the Navy are sent out to the locations that Godzilla had been spotted in. Based on his trajectory, Godzilla is expected to arrive on the coast of the Key Strait. At the fishing company, they hear the evacuation order over the radio, and they all hope Godzilla doesn't come near their dock. With news that Godzilla is straying away from his projected course, Shoichi and Hidemi finally go out dancing. Suddenly, there's an announcement declaring Godzilla's approach towards Osaka, much to everyone's horror, forcing people to evacuate. Well, I hope everyone got out of there safely. Unlikely. A blackout is enacted in Okasaka as Godzilla nears the city. As the defense force drop flares, hoping to lure the Godzilla away as the city is evacuated. Godzilla destroys a lighthouse with his tail as he led out to sea to the defense force's relief. Shoichi is trying to get his girlfriend to safety and he meets Kobayashi, who tells him their boss, Mr. Yamaji, Hidemi's father, is heading to the company's factory. Hidemi stays behind, asking the two to protect her father as they head to the factory themselves. Hidemi hears an announcement about Godzilla being led out to sea, though a blackout is still in effect. At the factory, Mr. Yamaji is also informed of Godzilla's departure. Prisoners are being transported during the blackout, but they manage to take out the guards and break out. Three of the escaped convicts steal a fuel truck and drive it off, and when the police give chase, the trio ends up crashing the truck, causing an explosion at a fuel depot that catches Godzilla's attention. Three stupid idiots! Look what you've done now! Dude, they're dead now. Good! Lured by the Inferno, Godzilla returns to shore, despite the Defense Force's best efforts, begins wading towards town. He's soon joined by Angerus, who was attracted by the flares meant to lure Godzilla away. The two dinosaurs begin to battle, forcing the defense force to retreat with the monsters causing even more damage as they compete for territory. Soichi convinces Yamaje to leave the factory to its destruction. The battle moves further inland, which looks ridiculous due to the speed the fight was filmed at. by far the weirdest looking fight in a Godzilla movie. Well, it was Godzilla's first full-fledged fight with another monster, 
Then the cameraman screwed up so bad that A.G. Subaraya was embarrassed for him. Sounds about right. Some of the escaped convicts flee into the subway, only to be killed when the ceiling collapses and water begins flooding the tunnel. A full retreat is ordered, and Godzilla and Anguirus destroy Osaka Castle in their fight for territory. Alright. Anguirus attempts to flee, but Godzilla bites Anguirus's neck, killing the spiked kaiju, and the winner throws the corpse back into the sea. Down goes Anguirus! Down goes Anguirus! Down goes Anguirus! Pleased with his victory, Godzilla himself returns to the sea, leaving Osaka a sea of flames. Hidemi watches the report on the chaos, and hoping that her father and boyfriend are safe. That's awesome to hear. In the aftermath, with the factory destroyed, everyone gathers up what can be salvaged from their workplace. Yamaji swears to rebuild. Suichi and Kobayashi arrive, informing Yamaji that Godzilla has been lost at sea, then learn that the company Hokkaido branch will be used as a temporary headquarters until the Osaka factory is rebuilt. Kobayashi is asked to transfer there, and everyone jokes around in spite of the recent destruction. After scouting a large school of fish for a fishing boat, Kobayashi learns that Hidemi, Shoichi, and Yamaji have arrived at the Hokkaido branch, and Kobayashi tells his friends he wants them to meet someone special. The company holds a party at the restaurant to celebrate the reconstruction of the headquarters in Osaka, and Kobayashi reunites Shoichi with some of his old friends from his old air fleet who are also at the restaurant. They then learn that Godzilla sank another ship. Somebody say Godzilla? <laughs> Planes are sent out to search for Godzilla, and despite bad weather approaching, Shoichi chooses to continue the search. Kobayashi asks Hidemi what to get for girls, and she asks who the lucky girl is, but he remains tight-lipped about it. Shoichi spots Godzilla and reports the creature's location, and Kobayashi heads out to take over the search. Hidemi sneaks a peek at the picture of the girl Kobayashi likes, and it turns out to be... someone we've never seen prior to this moment. Running gag that Kobayashi doesn't have a girlfriend throughout the movie. And this is the payoff of somebody who has no name that's dressed like a schoolgirl. That's a that's a pretty weak payoff. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Suichi's old air fleet are sent out to Godzilla's location as Suichi follows the dinosaurs to a frozen island. Spotting Kobayashi's plane, Suichi returns to base, shows the fleet the layout of the island. They plan to trap Godzilla in an inland and block the exit for its fire. They can come up with a more permanent solution. As the air fleet and the navy are disparted, Kobayashi keeps watch over Godzilla. The fleet finds Godzilla and they begin attacking the giant dinosaur to drive him inland, but it fails to work as planned. Kobayashi attempts to dive bomb the monster, but is hit by Godzilla's atomic breath and crashes into the side of a cliff causing some ice to fall onto Godzilla. Seeing the result of his friend's sacrifice, Shoichi suggests they bury Godzilla in ice. That's just crazy enough to work! They begin bombing the cliff, causing more ice to fall around the radioactive dinosaur. Hidame reports to her father about the loss of Kobayashi, but tells him of the plan to trap Godzilla that the fallen pilot had inspired. She then goes and looks at the pictures of Kobayashi and the nameless girl. Tragic if Kobayashi were actually a well developed character. And if his girlfriend wasn't just a pitcher. After partially burying Godzilla, the planes return to base to acquire rockets to better blast the cliffs. The fleet are shown the planes for trapping Godzilla with an avalanche. So Ichi asks to join the attack on Godzilla and he is allowed to fly with his old unit once more. As Godzilla slowly digs his way out, barrels of gasoline are rolled to the entrance of the canyon. Once Godzilla frees himself, the fleet retreats and the barrels are fired upon, creating a wall of fire that traps Godzilla in the canyon. The air fleet arrives and begins launching their rockets at the mountain, causing an avalanche that buries Godzilla forever. Wait, didn't he escape in King Kong vs. Godzilla? You know that movie we watched in June? People know it's already out. Forever. Well, forever. Forever. Well, whatever. This was Godzilla Raid 
movies again. This movie was not nearly as good as the original Godzilla. I'd say it's a bit boring at times, to be honest. The lighter tone and lack of the nuclear bomb metaphor really drags this movie down. With Angerus being the first opponent for Godzilla, and the camera work just being very wonky at times. There are worse movies in the franchise, but this is just a weak second entry. And let's bring this episode of Kaiju Review to a close. If, however, you want to hear me and my recycled bulbs, yes, that's his name, talk about other movies that don't include Godzilla, yet, then check out our podcast, Proto Balls Talk, over on my personal channel. I got a channel as well. It's called Tanks World, where I try foods and other stuff. That's really good stuff. And if Let's Play is more of your speed, check out my channel, where I, do, where I play video games and say things, you know, at the same time. He's a madman. Anyway, this has been Kaiju Review. I'm Tank. I'm Protomet. I'm my recycled balls, the special guest. See, See ya! ya. Forever! 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 <laughs>